If you have the superior asset, it's going up forever, Laura. You do not sell your Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. Within a decade, crypto and blockchain technology will be the 12th sector of the S&P. Bitcoin doesn't have any value in and of itself. As rumors run rampant that yet another crypto whale may be forced to dump big time on the moon boys, fears of a $14,000 and even lower Bitcoin this week grow larger than an American's appetite after seeing an Applebee's commercial. And with millions and millions of dollars of crypto supposedly stolen from FTX on the move and being dumped in gigantic loads like a Taco Bell worker after gobbling up a little too much of their own supply, can the Moon Boys rise up and overcome? Or is the biggest dump yet to come? Right now, Bitcoin and the entire crypto space head into what is widely considered one of the most bearish weeks that we've seen with sentiment already starting off extremely negative. Everybody is very, very bearish right now as we begin this week. And there are a lot of very big things happening. Specifically, though, what this actually could mean is bigger than you could ever imagine. It's absolutely time sensitive alerts. And without any further ado, let's dump in to what surely will be a life changing webisode. And before we do, I want to start off with this. Just as we talked about uh, about five days ago here with the DXY. Now, as we said yesterday, we're going to have rallies. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised to see the DXY even come back to 110, even if the longer term trend is much lower than that, meaning uh, the DXY most likely will bounce at some point. But if it then ultimately gets rejected, so right now the DXY actually is having uh, its largest daily candle to the upside uh, in weeks. And that level we talked about, the 110, I personally think that's where, like, if there's going to be any resistance for the DXY, that is that is the area. And we can just kind of extend that out here so you can see. That's where it did bounce for weeks and weeks before when it broke, we fell significantly below. Now, if we come back up, uh, a very, very typical, very often seen support turned into a resistance level right here, that could be very big. So uh, the DXY, we are initiating that move. And it begins the week here as there's a lot of bear sentiment and a lot of fear around the space as uh, there's a few different things happening. So one, let's take a look here. So the FTX hacker, whether it's Sam or someone else, um, dumping about 50,000 ETH and still among the top 40 ETH holders. So the hacker here drained roughly half a billion dollars out of multiple FTX global and FTX US exchange wallets, pretty much right as this whole FTX uh, you know, the, the chaos storm was happening. And it says here, a majority of the stolen funds were in ETH, making the exploiter the 27th largest ETH whale, currently still the top 40. But we're seeing uh, some suspicions, some accusations that maybe it's the Bahamian, the Bahamian government. But basically, the Bitcoin is uh, being drained in a manner that's consistent with what they call a peel chain. It's a form of money laundering that it says here in the article, it would be highly unusual for a government agency to be involved in. So, you know, the story keeps getting a little weirder, I guess you could say, but there are absolutely fears in this market that the price will get pushed down because of this and other things as well. So if we take a look also, Bitcoin's price currently sitting around the $16,000 range where it's been. Uh, basically, ever since the hack, it's been in the $16,000 range, usually hovering right around 16.5. But over the last 48 hours, we've seen that drop down to even sub 16K slightly, where we're actually at currently at right now. And the fact that the stock market is potentially in for a little bit of a dumpy week, combined with the fact that DXY is having its, its little pump, uh, and also combined with the fact that there's a lot of fears around crypto right now, um, then again, I think it's very likely we are going to see continued dumpage this week. Now, uh, if we take a if we take a squeak peek at the charts here, uh, let's take a look at some top cryptos here. So one, ETH is obviously getting pounded because that's where a lot of this the stolen funds were uh, used. They were sent with ETH uh, as ETH. Um, so ETH has yet actually to set a lower low, um, breaking below like one one thousand seventy six, one thousand seventy five ish would 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 negate that and that would be a lower low uh 1075 um, and bitcoin as well has not yet set a lower low uh to do that it would have to go below about 15.5 uh 
15,475. Currently, the low of the last 48 hours is like roughly um, 15,9, so about $500 off of that. That could change at any moment, obviously. Uh, Cardano, though, however, has set a lower low significantly, and it's actually testing the 30 cent range now. Um, so major dumpage there. But th the main thing I want to point to here with the, with Bitcoin's chart is that um, we're still holding on this very, very key level. And, you know, looking to worst case scenario, there is a there is there's an OK amount. If we're looking historically, there's a decent amount of support around 16K. Um, it's not like insanely significant. We had a few weeks back all the way in 2018, uh, even at the very beginning of 2021, or sorry, the, the end of 2020, when we initially had that massive bull run begin. Uh, it was very exciting. I remember uh, the 16 to 20K range was very exciting because, you know, we spent these few weeks trading here like, okay, this is going to be 20K. As soon as it did, it really straight up popped off. And let's be honest too, actually looking at this chart, it's crazy. After that happened, we had a couple of months uh, to get up to the all-time highs. And then pretty much the bull market ended other than the 69K blow off top. Uh, nice. But again, it, this this looks like just a, a final last squeeze before complete another dumpage. I mean, realistically, I, I, I still consider uh, really the real top to be even back in April, right? I think it makes more sense. We did have that squeeze, but it was more of a dead cat bounce that went higher than the previous one slightly because of all the exuberance. But uh, the point is, if we look, there is immense support around 12K. Okay, that is a gigantic, uh, and even the mid eleven thousand dollar range. But this level, the amount of times Bitcoin was rejected there, is absolutely very significant. And I'm sure I haven't looked at this yet, but I'm sure if we pull out the VPVR, yeah, on this scale here, you can see yes, there's a lot of volume at some of these levels, even around. I mean, especially twenty k has some pretty good volume right here. But we get down to that twelve k range, and you just see it absolutely stockpile massive amounts of volume. So, you know, let's take a look worst case scenario. If we're going to see some of these fears, even with, you know, there's some grayscale fears, which I think might've been uh, pushed to the side a little bit today, considering that I believe they have around 600,000 Bitcoin. Um, Coinbase confirmed that there's, you know, it, it looks okay for that situation for right now. But basically, if, if we look to the future here and let's say, let's prepare for the worst. Let's say that, you know, we're in the middle of a chaos storm right now, very dumpy, very clearly. And it, again, in my opinion, with everything going on right now, mix in maybe the, you know, the little regulation we're definitely going to be getting because of the FTX uh, scandal or whatever you want to call it. We're in the middle of the, of the dumpy storm and... Uh, in my opinion, next time we get to 20K or let's say 25K to be safe, then the worst absolutely will be way behind us. But right now we're still in the middle of the worst. So with that being said, all it takes is one more little thing and it'll make that worst even a little worse. So again, if we're going to get dumped on, it is literally right now because we're in the middle of getting dumped on. Usually when you get dumped on, you don't get dumped on and then you wait a couple months and then you get dumped on again. Usually you get dumped on and then you just keep getting dumped on. That's just how the human body works. And so that is exactly how the crypto market works. So that being said, if we're going to get extremely dumped on right here, uh, let's prepare for the worst. 12, let's say we get down to this level of 12K. Well, I'm extremely confident that the amount of support there will be Again, I'm not saying we're going to get there, but I'm saying if we're going to we're going to prepare for the worst, if we did get there, I would absolutely think that something very, very catastrophic would have had to happen. Um, you know, I'm talking even USDT type fear level stuff. But um, again, we spent weeks getting rejected here back in the bull market that ended in 2017 and uh, the bear market that began 2018. We spent weeks getting re rejected exactly there back in the summer of 2019 as well. And we spent weeks getting rejected there back in the summer of 2020 before that ultimately kicked off the bull run. And you can see that was just like the main pivot area for Bitcoin that once it concretely broke that, you can see actually the, the biggest green candle you see to, to kick off this uh, bull market was right about here. As soon as we snapped 12K, then it really just snapped up to 20K. Uh, took a few weeks to consolidate and then snapped up to 40k took a few weeks to consolidate and then snapped up to 65k so 12k um, absolutely gigantic a lot of people are saying that they maybe are not scaling in just yet it, maybe they're not putting their entire position uh, of, of dcaing and their actual long-term moon bags in just yet it, they absolutely are waiting a lot of those people are waiting for these levels now i've been i've been accumulating this entire 
you know, this entire dump. Um, again, I do I think 12K is going to happen? I have no idea. Nobody does. But the point is, if things are truly going to get as bad as possible, which a lot of people are, are you know, pretty much banking on, uh, you know, they personally think that it, that it absolutely is going to happen sooner than later, then uh, 12K is immense. And if 12K doesn't hold, obviously, we're talking about 10. If 10K wouldn't hold, then, I mean, I wouldn't even know what to say next, right? I, I personally don't think... Uh, I mean, again, for the number of things that would have to go wrong is immense. The fact that the second biggest crypto exchange collapsed and we're still at 16K, pretty resilient in my opinion. I don't think anybody in this space put their uh, their bets on the fact that X FTX was just completely full of baloney and there was nothing to it. It was all a scam. As you've seen over the last week, you know, some of the biggest and oldest accounts even on like Twitter and in the space basically said they were caught off guard by that. So that was a pretty big event. And to get us really below 16K, to push us to something like 12K, to even get us there where there's immense support, for us to even get there, we need some really, really bad news. And I'm not talking about like a high CPI next month or or something, you know, oh, they're going to raise rates back to 75 or something. I'm talking about we need, we'll need much worse than that to get us to those levels. And at that point, if we get to those levels, that is immensely resilient. We, you know, as I said, we, there's a little bit of a support right around 16K. You can see there's a little bit, we had some historical resistance, maybe for like a week or two here. And and uh, it's, this is the, the the bottom of this um, this pattern right here, this falling wedge. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice and all. But, you know, we've been holding here for a few weeks uh, and we've had some really dumpy news that got us here. Realistically, if there's a chance to fill your moon bags and if we get to 12K, uh, you know, absolutely, I don't see how that wouldn't be a chance of a lifetime. Uh, but keep in mind, to get us there, it is going to be the most bearish sentiment, bearish space you have ever witnessed in order to get there. And already, it is extremely bearish. One of the most bearish, it, it, you know, it honestly might be the most bearish I've seen the market uh, in the last six years. So you guys in the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those ghost notifications, and receive absolutely time-sensitive alerts. Check out the description to receive over $16,000 in deposit bonuses below, uh, specifically zero spot trading fees with Bybit below, and um, yeah, 15 free USDT with sign up as well. Without further ado, let's